Good Saturday morning, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onick with a quick check of the forecast online. If you missed our forecast on air, we just got done with News Channel 3 Daybreak about five minutes ago and helping you get going for the weekend to let you know a little bit more about what's going on in the Mid-South area. Looking a lot better as we go into St. Patrick's Day, but unfortunately, we can't say the entire weekend is going to be all that nice as we look for the potential of even more thunderstorms toward tomorrow tomorrow night and the possibility we can't rule it out of maybe some severe weather happening into parts of the area. We'll talk about that coming up in just a little bit. We'll also talk a little bit more about what's going on with your pictures out there and thanks everybody for sending in some very nice ones including some of our own here at News Channel 3. We'll show you what we saw across the area yesterday and into this morning so stick around for more on that and of course we'll talk more about the potential for severe weather and what we may be looking for coming up as we get into the course of the rest of the weekend. If you've got anything in the way of weather reports, temperatures, or rain gauge amounts, anything like that, please drop them into the comments section. We'd love to see both where you're from. City, state would be fine. We don't need your entire address, but thank you to those who have been that thorough over the past, but just a generic idea for location would be a good idea. And if you've got a temperature report, let's put that weather th uh, station, the thermometer, outside the kitchen window to good use and let us know what it feels like in your location and see what's going on out there, and we'll read those off as we go throughout the course of the rest of the morning, so stick around for more on that. Starting things off again with a usual treat at this time of the year. The countdown to spring. We're almost at the start of the spring season. We started meteorological spring a few weeks ago on March the 1st. It's a way of keeping track of weather records on a more even basis that start at the beginning of a month that includes the changeover in season. So meteorological summer will start on June 1st. Summer will start officially the season on June 20th, June 21st in that area. But for right now, the change in season, three hours, 15 minutes, Minutes and three days left to go until official start of springtime in the Mid-South area. And again, we may be seeing some pretty cool numbers out there as we go into springtime as our next storm system, one of two, rolls on through the Mid-South and unfortunately even more opportunities for rainfall into the course of the next couple of days. Here's what it looks like in a nutshell. By the way, if you're just joining us and may have never seen this netcast before, again, you can contact me here at my email address. Forecast down here, also down here, scrolling past at the bottom of the screen. Seven-day forecast here. It's all available at wreg.com slash weather. Rest of the morning, temperatures rising pretty nicely back into the lower 60s. Welcome to everybody who's checking in out there. Carla Jackson, nice in Somerville for now. Uh, good, good indication right there. Good idea uh, for that disclaimer, uh, just in case we're getting some more out there. Winter is stubborn. Michael Wilson does have a tendency to stick around for a little while, but uh, we'll keep you updated on that. Rest of the day today, again, quite mild. Temperatures by lunchtime lower 70s with the clouds kind of breaking up a little bit more so we should see some more sunshine that should bump the numbers up into the mid 70s for today way above normal for this time of the year should be in the lower 60s and again about a category higher than that coming up into and around the area for the rest of the day today a little cooler tomorrow with more rainfall expected and a lot cooler as we go out of winter and into spring ironically more on that in just a little bit city hall camera poplar pike germantown road the tower of East Memphis again not totally visible through the rain the haze and the fog for this morning but we'll continue again to see more potential of that rainfall sticking around for this morning cat cop from Coldwater Mississippi gloomy cloudy decent temperature feels comfortable outside has been raining but not now thank you very much uh, for that weather report. And thanks for checking in. 65 and cloudy at City Hall in Germantown 93 percent humidity no official rain overnight into and around the area, and east winds a little breezy at about 9 miles an hour. Traffic, live view from I-55 I and Goodman Road in South Haven from the roof of Baptist DeSoto looking off toward Horn Lake in the distance from South Haven, Mississippi. Traffic moving along. Roadways are still a little wet to damp thanks to that rainfall from overnight, so a little bit of extra time and a lot less speed some space between you and the vehicle in front of you for maximum braking distance to avoid accidents would be a good idea. A little bit more clouds across the Ole Miss campus in Oxford, Mississippi. Ventress Hall looking back toward the Student Union this morning. Decently quiet, but also again those wet to damp streets around Oxford so far. View from around I-240 in Poplar. Traffic again moving along pretty well. 
According to TDOT, we don't have any slowdowns or accidents at the 8 o'clock hour. Very good news to be able to report there. But once again, if you are going to be traveling for this morning, definitely want to make certain that you take it at least a little bit easier across uh, much of the Mid-South. Welcome to everybody who's joining us this morning. Thanks a lot for getting up uh, for News Channel 3 Daybreak. A little bit of fog left over into the area, but not doing too bad for now. Visibilities are markedly improved from a couple of hours ago, but we still have that potential for fog across the Mid-South early on. No advisories in effect at this time, and now that the sun's up and starting to stir the atmosphere, Probably won't be seeing too much of that either at this point, but either way, a little bit of extra time on the roadways would not be such a bad idea out there. Storm Tracker 3S radar, we've ramped up the sensitivity to show you anything around the metro, and we're just not detecting anything. There could be some very light drizzles left over in central parts of the Mid-South, very close to the ground, just under the radar beam, but we're just not seeing anything at this time. Likewise, we had a few stray sprinkles across northeast Mississippi about maybe an hour and a half ago. Those have dissipated, and anything in the way of anything involving developing thunderstorms or showers is way back over into around northern Alabama. Excuse me a second, the hand tracker monitor is not working, so I have to do this manually. A few thunderstorms around Birmingham, back toward the area of northwestern areas of Alabama, moving out of southeast middle Tennessee and heading off to the east. So this is not going to be a problem for us, but if you're heading southeast on I-22 anytime soon, down toward Birmingham, over toward Huntsville, you might catch up with some of that stuff as it goes on through the area. So something to think about there. Live real-time WeatherNet 3, temperatures at about 8-11 on Saturday. Saturday morning, mid-60s and going upwards from there. Occasionally breezy, we've got winds around Memphis International about 10 miles per hour. We have seen some 10 to 15 mile per hour winds, but not doing too bad across much of the Mid-South. Let's go ahead and run the numbers into the rest of the day today. And again, please make certain to stay tuned for more updates on the forecast. Now, through early this afternoon, the Forecast models are throwing in a little bit of moisture here, but I'm just not really seeing much of anything in the way of rainfall. That should be gone throughout much of the day for all of St. Patrick's Day. Very much on the mild side, lower to mid-70s winds coming in from out of the southwest, keeping us very much on the mild side. Now, we will turn around the winds a little bit into later on tonight, so we will see a bit of a breeze shift. And that means by daybreak tomorrow morning, we could be a little cooler back in the 40s. Staying dry, though, until we get into tomorrow afternoon. Then we get more showers coming through by the time we hit early Sunday afternoon. By the time we get toward dinner time, starting to wrap up the weekend, we get more showers and thunderstorms by the time we're on the air with News Channel 3 at 5. And then by News Channel 3 at 10, we see that potential for more chances of showers and thunderstorms. And some of those could be on the stronger side as we get into very early Monday morning. Rain sticks around right on in through rush hour. Not great news if you're heading back to work or school on Monday. So stay tuned to News Channel 3. We'll have more about weather with Todd Demers back from vacation on Monday. And, of course, Corey Ventura will have more on time saver traffic. Now, the threat for severe weather today not being seen across the area. Down toward the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex, northeastern parts of Texas, that's where we'll see the threat for today, but nothing going on in the Mid-South area for right now. Into tomorrow, this is where we start to see more active weather approaching. The first storm system that we had of the two that we are expecting is now leaving the area. Second one starts to roll into the Mid-South area, mainly taking a little bit more of a southerly track, so kind of digging a little bit south of us, and that could set up a bit of a problem for Alabama, Georgia, Middle Tennessee as we go into Monday, but we'll talk about that in just a second. The yellow polygon, the highest area of severe weather potential here just along and just south of the Mid-South. So Jackson, Monroe, Shreveport, Little Rock, back toward Mena, Texarkana, and into around the area just around the News Channel 3 viewing area. Could see the best potential for severe weather late Sunday night and again into early on Monday as that threat kind of curves up a little bit and heads a little bit closer to us. So it looks like northern Mississippi, you're going to see the best possibility of this into early on Monday morning. And that also includes into around parts of West Tennessee, mainly east of the metro area. Keep in mind with that light green shaded category that's a marginal threat, that still means that severe weather is possible. It's just not going to be as likely as we see over here. So once again, if you are traveling have outdoor plans 
late Sunday night into Monday morning. You're going to need to watch out for this, and we'll be watching this throughout the rest of the weekend, so keep it tuned to the weather experts on air and online. We've got the tournament going on all the way through the weekend, so if you have any plans, again, for outdoors, if anything does turn severe, we will break in and let you know about that, and we'll get back to any of the sports programming as necessary out there. So stick with us, and we'll keep you updated as to what we may be seeing across much of the Mid-South, out across the area, into around the rest of the next couple of days. Nothing expected until then, and rainfall potential, again, we're just not looking at a lot out there. Could be, again, some heavier areas localized, but by the time we hit Monday morning earlier, it looks like mainly fractions of an inch. Higher potential where there is heavier weather with thunderstorms, maybe an inch or two localized, and that could lead to some localized flash flooding. So again, please keep that in mind if you're going to be doing anything again outdoors into the next couple of days. All right, for today, St. Patrick's Day looking a lot nicer. Temperatures back into the mid-70s. Starting to clear things out a little bit, although the clouds are going to be kind of grudging to move out of the area. We're not going to be seeing a lot of major amounts of clear skies today. We'll reverse that tomorrow. More clouds at first, more showers, and then some thunderstorms into around lunchtime and afterwards. And then as we get into around the evening hours, that will be the best potential for severe weather as we get into very early Monday morning. Also, heading back to work or school, it looks like there will be chances of showers and thunderstorms all the way through out Monday, so not really much of a break from the rainfall there. Coincidentally, Monday is the last full day of winter, and it's not going to be feeling like that. Lower 70s as we head into and around the area of Monday. As we go into springtime, starting Tuesday morning, temperatures are going to be much cooler, kind of a nip in the air almost, back in the upper 40s to the lower 50s as we get into Tuesday. After that, we do warm back up again. More chances of showers and thunderstorms as we head toward Friday. Some of that shower activity could linger into next Saturday. And maybe the potential of some more thunderstorms coming up as we go toward the next Monday after that. Doesn't look like much at this point in time, but once again, we'll be keeping our eyes on what we may be seeing here over the next several days. At least we get a bit of a, bit of a break here. Showers early on Tuesday, and then we don't see much of anything else until Friday night. So at least we will clear out by just a little bit, even if it's a little cooler. We get some nicer weather in here over the next couple of days. Our own Shay Arthur from DeSoto County on assignment yesterday and picking up some pretty heavy rainfall in and around the area there. So thank you very much, Ms. Shea, for that. Memphis underscore Tom, another winning uh, sunset from around Merle's Inlet in South Carolina. Again, if you've got pictures from around the area or wherever you're traveling to, tag us on Twitter or Instagram. We'd be glad to pass those along. And a nice view of Skip the Weather Dog from Louis Haskett up in northeast Arkansas, doing a good job of enjoying the drier weather up there. So thank you, Skip and Louis, for that out there. If you've got any pictures... We'd love to see them, but we can't show them unless you send them, and we didn't have too many of them this week. So we're putting out the call for more pictures. If you got them, Aonic underscore WRAG3 on Twitter. Aonic no underscore necessary on Instagram, WRAG3. We've also posted some of my social media sites in the comments section, so you can tune in uh, for more information there. And, of course, available on my Facebook page, and that'll be at... Facebook.com slash AustinOnic, W-R-E-G, one word, which I will have another update coming up here in just a little bit where we'll feature weather where the troops are at just about the bottom of the hour. Keep up to date with the forecast. If you can't watch on TV, if you can't be near a computer and you're out of range from any computer signal for your smartphone, dial us up on the radio, Country 92.5, Oldies 102.3 on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network stations. And, of course, I'll be back on the air with Bob and Josh coming up bright and early Monday morning at 8 o'clock for more on that. Stay tuned for more. We'll have an update on Periscope, Twitter, and Facebook, my own Facebook page, in just about uh, 15 minutes or so from now. And we'll keep you updated on all the forecasts again if you missed some of that on there. Plus, if you've got friends, relatives, loved ones serving overseas, we're going to have our regular Weather Where the Troops Are segment so we can talk a little bit more about what is happening into and around the area if we have the opportunity to see what's going on uh, around the world. If you're serving on the home front, again, if you have friends and loved ones in the military, we'll give you an idea as to what we're looking for around the world. So stick around for more on that. Pope, Mississippi, Jeffrey Griffiths. 
uh, 63 degrees at this point in time. Thanks a lot, and keep an eye on the weather for us on there. I do appreciate that. And everybody else for checking in for this morning. Nice to have you along throughout parts of the day. We'll have more on the forecast again tonight on News Channel 3 at 5, 6, and 10. As possible with the NCAA tournament going on, if you can't reach us there, don't forget you can always watch us online. Go to WREG.com and click on the Watch Anytime banner, and we'll have more on our forecast going on there throughout the rest of the evening on repeat. And you can also catch us on cable channel 3.2 on digital, again, on our Anytime channel, which repeats the last newscast. And we'll keep you updated there as best as we can throughout the rest of the day. Stick around for a lot more with News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the weekend, live and direct from downtown Memphis. I'm meteorologist Austin Onyx. Stay tuned for more coming up with News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the weekend on air and online.